We're up bright and early this morning because we are going to go and hike that monster there which is Bluff Knoll and we're up here at about 8 o'clock about to start our hike. Should take 3 to 4 hours um, and hopefully we get a good view at the top. <laughs> Bluff Knoll is the highest peak in the southwest region and we're gonna hike it. It's 6k return. Let's go. As you can see behind me, we are hiking up a part of a mountain range. This is the Stirling Range National Park um, and Bluff Knoll is a part of that. As you can hear, I'm pretty puffed. There's a lot of steps and even though it's only 6k return, the first half going up to the summit is about a 20% gradient. So it doesn't sound too hard on paper, 6k, but walking up the whole way, oh, I'm just a weakling. This mountain also is known to be usually cloudy at the top. So a lot of people do this for sunrise and usually it's just blanketed with fog. And there's an Aboriginal um, Dreamtime story here saying the fog takes those who stray off the path here. Oh. So we won't do that. <laughs> but yeah, they say that the weather changes very rapidly here. It can be very cool and windy, even though sometimes it's usually hot in the car park. So I have a jumper just in case we're windy at the top. I also have a picnic. It's my favorite part of the hike. Yeah. It's such an intimidating hike to start because you just have this huge peak to try and summit. This is hard. <laughs> we are so out of touch with hiking at the moment. We haven't been doing much over the past few months because we've been in such hot um, conditions. So it's only been little short walks traveling through like the NT and Northern WA. But um, yeah, we'll get back into it because we're getting a lot cooler now. That breeze is actually beautiful. The South Coast should be the same. So uh, more hiking videos to come. How's the hike going? Yeah, it's pretty hard. So many steps. My legs are a little bit achy from the Greenwich Skywalk walk yesterday. Because that was quite uphill. But we're getting closer. Halfway. Oh yeah. Halfway. Whew. I just want there to be no stairs for a little bit. There will be when you get to the top. Oh. Quick rest. Quick rest. Quick drink of water. We're probably about close to two thirds. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I can see the top, but my legs. Still quite a ways up. No, don't say that. One point one k to go. We've only done two k's. Wow, feels like 20. <laughs> We're nearly there. Meters to go, 
it did flatten off a little bit, but the stairs are back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 100 Woohoo Four thousand and ninety five meters above sea level. Woo! Yay! This is my favourite part of hiking. <laughs> it's when you can sit down and have a picnic and just enjoy the view. And we're so lucky there's no clouds up here. So we can literally see so far, like just all the way and the horizon's got a bit of cloud on, but we have a pretty incredible view. We have just been sitting here on the rocks in the sun. I can't believe how lucky we are with this weather. This place is known for always being cloudy and bad weather and it is perfect. It is actually quite hot, but we have a nice cool breeze and the visibility is insane. We can see all the way back to the coast and the headland that goes out into the ocean. It's crazy. Yes, yeah, so we have mountains here, mountains here. I'm a mountain sandwich. <laughs> we have now walked a little bit further on. Everybody's left. We have the whole summit to ourselves. Um, but this view, probably a bit better than that view. I don't know, it's all pretty good. But this one has a ledge and you can sit on that ledge and just have a look at the mountain range over there. It's very nice. We are going to make our way down now. We've been up here for quite a while. Uh, it's time to head back down. But next is the Stirling Ridge Scenic Drive. And that is that dirt road you can probably see in the distance. It's supposed to be really nice, so don't go anywhere and come along and check it out with us. So we have descended down Bluff Knoll now and we are on Sterling Range Drive. There's a beautiful scenic drive, 42 kilometers of gravel roads. Let's go. 